So as far as the music scene, you've been doing, you know, producing for about 15, 10, 15 years. How has the music scene changed from when you started until now? Um, well, it's, it's definitely more, I don't want to say easy, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, back then when I first started, it was more complex, like, it was more to it. You had to put more work in and you had to actually grind, grind to, you know, get out there. But now it's like, you can make a little song, for, for like a little five minute song, put it up on YouTube, and now you viral. And then you got your one hit, and you made it. So it's like, uh, it's, like you you have to work hard, but at the same time, you don't really have to bust, you know, bust it to make it. So it's definitely changed a lot. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. So I mean, what, what, what do you see yourself in, in five years from now? Man, I see myself in a yacht, celebrating, winning about five Grammys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's what's yeah. up. So, you, um, what, let's, let's talk about the equipment you started off with versus what you use now. Um, to be honest, um, I use FL Studio, mm -hmm. MIDI keyboard, and some bold speakers. Okay. That's the same setup. I mean, same, used to put so my same, same setup. Yep. Okay. The only difference is when I first started, like I didn't really know about mixing and you know blending sounds. But now that I've got the experience, I can make a beat on the same equipment, and you would never know. Like you would think it's a, like a live band playing. That's how realistic I can make it sound. Okay. Just off FL Studio. Okay. Yeah. You ever collab with any producers in the city? Oh yeah, Peasy, that's my dog. Bosa got beats. What up, Louie? Calico beats. Um, trying to get some stuff in the works with Polo Boy, Shoddy, and um, and also um, Super Mario. Okay. And P. Porter. Okay. Um, her name is Ella J. She's a I don't want to call her an R&B singer because she has so many different styles. But she she is bad. She has a very strong voice. Like it's more like um, it's like has a bell, Kiki Wyatt strong, like like some old school soul. But she has so many different varieties. Like it's crazy. She she up next definitely. Okay. Yeah. So kind of like describe your sound or what type of particular beats you like to make. Um. I'm more of an R&B because I play keys a lot. Right. I do a lot of melodies, so I'm more on like the R&B like vibes type feel. But I can I can make any genre pop, um, EDM, gospel, um, jazz. I can make all that trap. But okay. R&B is like my main like go to. Okay. Yeah. So I know producers get crazy things in their inbox. Like, what's some of the craziest <laughs> things you ever? ever got asked or you heard oh, Lord. somebody inboxed me one time and asked me could i produce their whole project mm -hmm. it's they have the beats exclusive rights every beat it was like a tw they wanted 12 songs exclusive rights they wanted me to be at all of their sessions they wanted to come in so i could Make the beats from scratch, twelve beats now, for free. Wow! Wow! And got Dis mad at me for saying I wasn't gonna do it. Now that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. But it's, I mean, it's a lot of people out there like that. They want handouts, and but I mean, right. I don't. I'm not a per. I'm not a person that won't you know help somebody. But at the same time, I got to eat too. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because if they was doing something, they would ask for money too. So. But I'm, I'm not the type of person to break somebody's head. Like, you know, I look out, so. So far, like, your price range, what, what is, what's your price range? Um, well, my leases, um, they go for $60, and my exclusives go, like, starting 150 on the, so. Okay. Yeah, depending on customs and all that. Okay, so let's say somebody wanted to get you in the studio to get custom, custom beats. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, at that point, I'll charge about an hour. 
by the hour. Yeah. To come in, yeah, charge by the hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So if anybody wants to get in contact with you, how can they you know, contact you for? Well, they can uh, email me at Casio, C A S I O, dot Vamp Beats, V A M P B E A T Z, at gmail.com. Okay, how about social media? Social media, Snapchat, Instagram, that's at Casio BB. Facebook is Casio Beats with a Z. And Twitter is Casio BB too. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk indie artists in South Carolina. Now, who, who you rocking with? Black Zach Killing them, man. Yeah. Black Zach Killing them. Black Zach, Mr. Mac, DZ, um, FFB. Um, they ringing bells. Uh, Randy Rucci. Um, uh, there's, there's so many of them. Uh, Jesse LaPrade. Um, Neek the Geek. Ella J. Um, Tracy Lav. Callie Cole. It's, just so, it's, a, it's a lot of talent. Nay. Um, um, YPC. The whole YPC game. Like, it's, everybody's just grinding. Right? You see a difference between five years, five years ago, and up to now, as far as the industry. Yeah, I, yeah, I see it. Cause back then it was more like I want to say grimy, and now it's more like it's still grimy, but at the same time it's kind of subtle. At the same time, but it's it's crazy cause um, it's been a lot of. Um, South Carolina legends, but it's, it's one in particular that I've seen that's still relevant, like to this day, right. and that's Region Rock. Right. Like, I respect that man so much. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. He grinds nonstop, so okay. he definitely up next, too. That's what's up. Yeah. So, you got any, any upcoming projects? Um, yeah, um, I'm actually working with Ella J with her project. She'll be dropping that um, about a couple more months. We still haven't, you know, decided the actual date yet, but Ella J, um, I'm working with an artist from Rhode Island called Jack. I'm, I'm working with him. And um, Tracy Lab, too. He got a project coming soon, too. So. Okay, you grinding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm that's grinding. That's what's up. And Flex from Rock Hill. Okay, yeah. I know Flex. Yeah. Okay, cool, that's what's up. Yeah, we, we got some stuff. Yeah, that's what's up, man. We're getting in the pot. Okay, that's what's up. Hey, we appreciate you coming through with Demi TV, hollering at us. Oh, yeah, you no know, problem, man. Anytime, anytime you want to slide through, hit me up. All right, all right.